channel or welcome if you're new. Today we're going to be doing another wedding DIY. If you're interested in more wedding DIYs here on my channel, be sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming tutorials. In today's video, we're going to be making this acrylic bar menu wedding sign. This is the perfect classic yet modern addition to your wedding decor. If you're interested in making this sign for your wedding, just keep watching. This is only one part of the wedding DIY series here on my channel. Be sure to check out my other videos if you are looking to do some DIY projects for your wedding. All of the items that I'm using in today's video, including the fonts, will be linked down in the description box. Fonts play a huge role in designing and can be a really great way to showcase your style or wedding theme. The fonts that I'll be using today are all available through Creative Fabrica. I actually have a monthly subscription with them that gives gives me unlimited access to all of their graphics and fonts, and they have a ton to choose from. I do have a 30% discount link for you guys that I will leave down in the description box. This will get you 30% off of your monthly subscription with Creative Fabrica. The first thing you'll need for this project is an 8x10 piece of clear acrylic. You could do any size that you want, including an 11x14. You could even do a arch or something like that. But for today, I'm going to be using an 8x10 rectangle. You will also need some paint. Today, I'm going to be using matte black. A paintbrush and something to put your paint in. You will also need some weeding tools a squeegee to help apply your vinyl, some scissors, a Cricut knife. This is optional, but it's really nice whenever you're weeding your vinyl. It's a really nice way to kind of cut the vinyl down into different pieces so you don't have to peel it all at once. You will also need some vinyl. Today I'm gonna to be using matte white, some transfer tape, a mat for your Cricut, and then also I have the self-healing Cricut mat here. This is really nice because it can help you to line up your acrylic perfectly whenever you're applying the vinyl. And of course, we will need our Cricut as well. The first thing you're going to do is go into your Cricut design space and open up a new project. Here I have the design that we're going to be making today, and then I have the fonts here that we're going to be using. And then I'll also go through where I got the graphics for the drinks here. The first thing you're going to do is go to the shapes button and click the square. In order to adjust the size of the square, we're going to go ahead and click this lock button and then make this 8 by 10. Now we're going to lock it back and make it white. This is going to represent our 8 by 10 acrylic piece. Now we're going to go over to the text and start making the lettering. So we're going to first do bar menu. For this, we're going to use the font called Olive. We're going to make it all caps. And now we're going to kind of play with the spacing a little bit and make it a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to press duplicate over here and that way it'll make a copy of the word bar and I'm just going to go in and type menu. That way it'll keep the spacing and the font and everything that I just chose. We're going to line this up. All right, I like the way that looks. Now we're going to go ahead and do the bottom portion where it says beer because we're using the same font there. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and do the words the hubby and the wifey. For those, I use the font Romantically Italic. We're going to go ahead and weld these words together and size them down. We're going to repeat that for the second portion where it says the wifey. Now we're going to go ahead and add our drinks here. I got these off of the website Creative Fabrica, the same place that I get all of my fonts from. So what you do is you just download them off of the website, the Creative Fabrica website, and then you just upload it into your Cricut software. So now I have the drinks here and add them onto my canvas. And so here are the two drinks and I'm just going to position them right where I want them to be and get everything all centered up. 
I will link the drink set down in the description box. Now that I have everything just how I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and attach everything together. That way the design will stay just like this when I send it over to the Cricut. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this. And then delete my box here as well. That way all that's left is just my design. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my vinyl ready for the cutting mat and send this over to the Cricut. Now we're going to go ahead and cut our vinyl to the right size. So because we're doing an 8x10 sign, our design came out to a little bit less than 9 inches by a little bit less than 7 inches. So I always like to go like a half inch over, um, over that size. So now I'm going to go ahead and just cut my vinyl to the size it needs to be. This is my paper trimmer here. I will link it down below for you guys. This thing is really nice for cutting vinyl because it cuts a really straight line. Now we're going to go ahead and line up our vinyl onto our cutting mat. Now that we have our vinyl cut, we're going to go ahead and take our vinyl off of our cutting mat. I like to just flip my mat over and peel it this way, that way the vinyl doesn't get all rolled up. The next step is to go ahead and weed our vinyl. First thing I'm going to do is go in and take my Cricut knife just by using this sharper point here to cut only the vinyl not the backing paper. That way I can weed them separately and not all at one time. Now that we have our vinyl weeded, we're going to go ahead and apply our transfer tape. For this part, I like to line up the bottom of my transfer tape to where I can use the grid lines in order to place it on there. So I like to line up the bottom of the transfer tape right below the bottom of the lowest lettering here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and cut right around the lettering here just as close as I can. Now I'm going to grab my acrylic piece and go ahead and take off the protective layers. The next thing I'm going to do is line up my acrylic piece onto my mat. That way I can use the grid lines underneath to help me apply my vinyl to the right place. In order to apply my design to the acrylic, I'm going to use the hinge method. I'm going to go ahead and show you all how I do that now. What you want to do is apply a piece of tape across the middle after you have it all lined up. And then you're going to peel off one edge here. I'm going to pick the bottom part and then cut off some of this backing paper. Take your squeegee and just lay those letters down onto the acrylic. So now that you have a piece of your design on the acrylic, you're going to go ahead and remove the tape. Run your squeegee over the rest of your design. Pull this back and then peel off the rest of the backing paper from the vinyl. Making sure that all of the vinyl stays stuck down onto the transfer tape. And then you're going to take your squeegee and just lay the rest of the design down. Use your squeegee to really adhere that down. The next thing you're going to do is peel back your transfer tape. Now that 
we have our design applied to the acrylic, we're going to go ahead and flip it over and start painting. I just have this piece of cardstock paper here that I'm going to place underneath. We're going to be painting the entire back side of the sign black, so I'm just going to put some paint directly on there and start painting. This will most likely need two coats, and then I'm also going to put a clear coat of polyacrylic on the back. That's not a mandatory step, but I like to do it just in case this sign will be used outdoors. It will protect it from any scratches and also from the weather. Alright, so we got that first coat painted. Now we're going to let this fully dry. We'll come back and do a second coat, and then we'll do the clear coat of polyacrylic at the end. You can get a very similar look without using a Cricut and just using a Sharpie oil-based pen. I did an in-depth step-by-step tutorial on how to hand letter on acrylic. If you want to check that video out, I will link it down below for you guys and in the cards. But if you don't have a Cricut and you are looking to do some wedding DIYs, this is a really easy way to do them. Now that this has fully dried, we're going to go ahead and paint the second coat of black paint onto the back of this sign. Alright, so it is now the next day. I let that second coat of black paint dry overnight and now we're going to go ahead and put our polyacrylic. This is the polyacrylic here and like I said before, this is not something that you have to do, but if your sign is going to be outdoors, um, just to protect it from the weather or if you have to move it around a lot or if it's something you're going to use multiple times, I would definitely seal it with a polyacrylic. So this is the clear gloss. You can also use the matte one or the satin finish as well. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and paint this clear coat on the back and then we will be all done. I just have mine in this little container here only because the polyacrylic can gets kind of rusty at the top if you get any polyacrylic around the edge. So I just poured mine into this little container. Here's our finished product. I love the way this sign turned out. The black and white gives such a classic yet modern look. I hope this video helped you create a beautiful sign for your big day. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more wedding DIYs. I'll see you guys soon.